Now, we can access files in PHP, we can modify files in PHP. So basically, four kind of operations we can do over a file. First is opening a file, we can open a file, we can read a file, we can write to a file, or we can close a file. So basically, when we open a file, it accepts two parameters. One is to one is the name of the file or simply the complete path of the file and second is the mode of the file whether we want to open the file in read mode, in write mode, in append mode. This simply means that either we just simply want to read the file or we have to write something something in the file and other otherwise we have to append something to the file. There is difference between writing and appending. Writing simply means if we write a file using write mode, it will overwrite all the contents. But if we open the file in append mode, then it will append the data, new data to the previous data, it will not overwrite. So this is the difference. Let's see. Here is a table. Uh, if we give the read mode as R, there is a function called fread that accepts two parameters. First will be the name of the file. For example, it is a.txt. Second would be the mode. It would be it can be R. That simply means read mode. R plus means we can read the file and we can write the file. But if file doesn't exist, it will provide us the error. So R plus is to read both read and write the file. And again we have W. W is not to read the file, it will simply write the file, it will not read the file. So difference between R plus and writing in R plus and writing in with W is that if we are using W as our mode, then if file doesn't exist, it will create the file. And after that, it will write into that file. Here you can see, R is for reading purpose only. R plus means for reading and writing. But if file doesn't exist, it, it will give us error. On the other hand, if we use W, then it is for writing purpose only. You cannot read the file. It is opened with W mode. Now, if the file doesn't exist, it will create the new file. Now, W plus simply means you can read a file, you can write a file, and it will create the file if it doesn't exist. W plus simply adds write, read functionality to its write functionality. Then we have A. A means you can open a file in write mode, but now text will be appended. Pointer will be placed at the end of your file, and from there your writing will start. But in case of W, it will overwrite the whole content with the new content. A plus means it will open the file in read mode and write mode, and again this write will start at the end of the file, it will append the file. It will not overwrite write the content. Here we are having file close function. Once we have used a file, we can close it. We simply close the file and its pointer gets finished. So again, f open I have told you, then we have another function that is called file size. This file size basically returns the size of a file. It requires the file name and it gives us the size of that file. Let's move further and we will get into detail. So these are f open, file size, f read and f close. Four functions are there. So let's start with reading the file. So what I will do, I will create a function create a file here I have, cre I have created a test file I have simple written this is a simple test so first of all I will let you know how to read this file I will give the complete path of this file first of all. So 
So let's have the path of this file. dot txt. So here I have given the file path. Now if you people remain, remember in last classes we have discussed about a data type that is resource. Now if we open a file it will return a resource. F open. I will give the file path and read mode because I have to read the file. Now if you print this resource you can see we are getting resource ID. So for this opening this file a resource a pointer has been created now this pointer will be used. Okay so maybe you are ask, asking to give relative path. Yes, you can give relative path, no issues. But I have given the absolute path. There is not an issue with relative or absolute path. So here, you have seen that I am getting the resource data type. So, first of all, I will calculate, let you know the f how to calculate the file size. So here is a function file size. I will simply give the file name. So if I print this file size, you can see 22. So it simply means 22 bytes. This file is now of 22 bytes. Now I have to read this file. I have to see the text of this file. So here I can do f read. In this f read, I will pass my file resource because we will now file have been, has been opened using a resource ID. Now file will be re read by using that resource ID rather than the path of the file because re that resource ID will be now pa pointer to that file. Here we will give the file size that we are going to read. Now we will close the file and in this close again we are going to give the file resource. So now this resource has been damaged and file is closed. Now if we print file text you can see the file content gets printed. If you open the file, you can see this is a simple text. Now the file content is here. So this is how to read a file. No, you don't have to give the path. You have to give the resource ID that you have created because while opening a file, Nikhil, while opening a file, you open it and assign it to a variable and that variable becomes the resource type and that resource type is used for further accessing the file. Note the file path is used now. Nikhil, I think it is clear now. We cannot give the file path. It should be file resource only. There are other functions in PHP that use file path like there is a function called file. That file reads the file as an array rather than string. Here it is reading the string that reads as, as file, as array. So Nikhil, if you see here, instead of using fread function, I am using file function. So this function accepts file name. So there are a lot of functions. Yes, mandatory to in, in case of if 
because it varies from function to function. If you are using file function, it will return the array like this. It will not return the string, it will return the array. If there are multiple lines, all lines will be elements of this array. But for, if you are using file function, then file name will be provided because this is the format provided by PHP itself. But if you are using fread, then you will not be providing the file path, you will be providing the, providing the file resource. So this is the difference, this is the format that is, that is provided by PHP itself. Now let's see to write a file. Now here is a content, this is a simple text. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the, uh, this file in write mode. And here is a function that is called f write. It again uses file resource. And here I will provide the text. This is my second text to be written to the file. So now I'm simply writing the file. So when I run this function, oh, Just a second. Okay, there is no need to print it. So now, if you check this file, it will be overwritten by my text that this is my second text to be written to the file. Here, if I make it third and I execute the script, you can see. Here, this is my third text to be written to the file. So this way you can write to a file. Okay, let's now move with third argument that is append. If you see, I have discussed that three kind of arguments are there, read, write and append. Now, what I'm going to do, I have opened this file in append mode. Now, difference between write and append is that write simply overwrites the text, but append will simply append the text. It will not overwrite. If I make it fourth and I run the function, now if you open the file, you will see text, this is my fourth text to be written to the file, is appended to the previous text. It is not overwritten. So this is difference between read, write, append. Now this R plus, W plus and A plus, they basically depend upon the permissions on your system, read, write permissions. So on my local systems, I don't have those permissions, so I won't be able to use these functions. But here you might get the complete idea from this description only that R plus will allow you to write as well because only R will not allow you to write and only W will not allow you to read the file. Like if I give W and I try to read the file, I won't be able to read the file. See here.
I won't be able to re read the file because no content is being displayed because file is open in write mode. So if I make it R plus then you will, be, you will be able to read the file. If you make it W plus you will be able, able to read the file. But due to permission issue in my local system I won't be able to show you these three values R plus W plus and A plus. I think this is fine with everybody. Yes, you you should give backslash r and backslash n. This simply means every every time it will be appended to the next line. Nikhil, I think it is fine because uh, it is okay. Okay, fine. So I have explained you f close, f open, file pointer and length have to pass. So this is the way file get handled. So here again having a function which throws fatal error while well, file doesn't exist. Basically let me explain you require and include. Require and include basically are used to include another file into our in our current file. For example, I want to include this particular file. So this will get included simply you can say I have just included this file as it is a text file it gets printed. So if I give the wrong name of the file I will get simple warning but if I require the file I will get fatal error. So what is the difference between warning and fatal error is if I am using include here and I am printing test. So a warning will not restrict the next line to be executed. Even if I am get, getting the warning, the next test is being printed. But if I use include or require, it will give the fatal error and it will stop the rest of the execution of the page. So this is the difference between warning and fatal error and include and require and include if file doesn't exist it simply gives us the warning but requires gives us the fatal error and fatal error stops the page execution further but warning doesn't stop the execution it simply gives us the warning so this is the difference between include and require and warning and fatal error i think it is clear to everybody